One day when the lady met this fellow And they knew that it was much more than a hunch That this group must somehow form a family That's the way they all became the Brady Bunch The Brady Bunch The Brady Bunch That's the way Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Good morning, Monomoy. Today is Wednesday, Wednesday, November 18th, and it is day three in our schedule. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, saw you there this time. Class of 2023 is selling Monomoy bucket hats. The hats come in blue, white, or gray and have our Monomoy logo on them. There are two styles. A traditional bucket hat is $25 and a wide brim is $30. Starting on November 9th and through November 22nd, if you purchase your hat, it'll be here just in time for the holidays. What a great gift idea. In fact, just reading this makes me want to put on a hat. Orders can still be placed after November 22nd, but will arrive after the winter break. You can find that link to the online store and an email sent to all the grades. You can also contact the class of 2023 officers or class advisors, Ms. Jones or Ms. Manning. Go Sharks! The next meeting of student council will take place on Thursday, November 19th at 9.30 a.m. via Google Meet. Please enter this code to join our class and get access to the meeting link. On Friday, November 20th, student council will be collecting donations for the first Stuco Cares of the school year. Members will come around to all classes first period to collect money for the family pantry. No donation is too small. All contributions matter. Now to sync with some weather. Thanks, Tyler. For today's weather, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 37 and a low of 28, with wind gusts coming from the north and northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour and uh, humidity of 56. Now on to the three-day forecast. On Thursday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 48 and a low of 47 with 75% humidity. And on Friday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 58 and a low of 47 with 69% humidity. Nice. And, uh, now on to Ace with some sports. Thanks, Dylan. For sports today, Phil Lockie finished the season with a win against Sturgis West 9-1. They finished the Cape Town Slyos Division regular season as champions and won the tournament. Great job, ladies. Boys soccer played Monday against Sturgis East and won 2-1. Birdman, my man, had some stellar plays and nice goals by Troy Namar. Good job, boys, and out of miles with some good news. Thanks, Asa. Everyone, make sure you take out your telescopes tonight. Starting today, Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, Neptune, Uranus, Venus, and Mercury are all visible throughout the Northern Hemisphere. This only happens once every 20 years, and it will be visible till the 21st. The Linoid meteor shower will be extra visible as well. Keep an eye out tonight, or you may miss out. Now to Caitlin with some Model UN news. Good morning, Monomoy. I'm sure many of you have heard about the latest update regarding the COVID-19 vaccine, and I'm sure you're wondering, is it effective? According to Pfizer, the vaccine trains the immune system to fight coronavirus, and is a new type of vaccine called an RNA vaccine, and uses a tiny fragment of the virus's genetic code. This, this starts, starts making part of the virus inside the body, which the immune system recognizes as foreign, and starts to attack. It is given in two doses, three weeks apart, and early data suggests it protects more than 90% of people from developing COVID symptoms. Also, according to Pfizer, the way the vaccine will get distributed in the UK is by age. Older care home residents and care home staff are top of the preliminary priority list. They are followed by healthcare workers such as hospital staff and the over 80s. People are then ranked by age, with people under 50 being at the bottom of the list. Thank you.